those who are by more detail analysis of the composition, it's called to work to work. And that becomes metallic, which means when you have four or five, which is a lot of oxygen, or the iron defect or deficiency, then it's a semiconductor. When you become close to one to one, you become more metallic. And, and that, let's see. Oh, this is something I want to talk about later. But yeah, actually, we, we, we should, this, this data is going to show very well. But what we can see from the uh, TEM, the diffraction, in fact, you can see within this a beautiful ring. Inside there are four <coughs> more spots. Okay, and this, uh, according to uh, Dr. Chen of Pentagon, who did the work, you can analyze and see that this is the 24 to 25 with this sliding, <coughs> but still older, some kind of older. So, so if, when it's still older, you don't, you can see metallic, but it's not smooth enough. Okay. But can we make this smooth enough? That's a question, right? Yeah, indeed. Uh, one of my doctors, uh, Yang Sang, Sang Ying Jie, and they, they, they did some work. Okay, when we we have this kind of four to five uh, nano structure. Okay, or let me say it again. You know, we have a nano wire. Now later we also found this kind of structure can be in a nanoparticle too. Okay, we are going to detail. We, we, we find that. So this four five can exist both in nano wire form or nanoparticle form, even more two dimension like that. Like the TM picture showing here. This is the uh, kind of particle, but it's a two dimensional like that structure. Okay? And this is called the four to five. And this kind of uh, a nanoparticle, not super nothing, with a magnetic order of 150 Kelvin. Okay. And this is the resistant uh, behavior of that kind of uh, nanoparticle. Okay. And structure wise, yeah, you can always see this kind of superstructure. So we identify we have a four or five that is square root five by square root five. And really, Excitement is coming is because not only this, we have a whole bunch of uh, new particle, like the composition three to four. And you see, start to see the, this the kind of order, square root two by square root two order. Okay. And we can also have uh, like a nine, ten, seven, eight, <coughs> or take okay, but it becomes more complicated, of course, if you look at the, the, the TM image. Okay. And all the model fit very nicely, like night ten, you know, you can fit this kind of uh, the feedback or the, the, the vacancy and form to be the square root ten by the square root ten uh, order. Okay. And I don't know, I can probably still not find this, right? You can see that there is a square here. Very complicated. Okay, what is this? We don't know yet. Maybe this is the superconducting one, we don't know. But we, we have a whole series of a com alloy on a compound, a binary system that has different uh, superstructure or the, high, the, the iron vacancy forming to order and so on. But the good thing is that we can make it to become super okay? This is the magnetic susceptibility of a nanoparticle, which I just showed you earlier. Uh, with the four five ratio and has a um, you know this kind of uh, iron vacancy order. But when you anneal at high temperature and then do the pro right process with quenching, then this <coughs> ratio can become superconducting. Although the superconducting ratio is not very high, okay? but basically this four to five ratio, we believe what we believe now is that this when you go to high temperature, then can certain, this is a defect. However, the defect becomes disordered. Instead of making, re maintain this kind of order thing, start to become disordered, then this becomes a Okay? So we, we, we can make it to a, 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 a superconducting phase by simply annealing the system. Of course, 
we need a lot of more work to uh, characterize exactly what we have in terms of photometry and so on. But this is the, the, the recent progress that we've been trying to identify exactly what we <coughs> see. And we can also do something like this, okay? By using, instead of, a, you know, the reason we are, we are constantly using the K position, because here we are, this is much easier to fabricate than the uh, nanoparticle, which is very small. Now we can use a much larger bulk sample, the 245, which is, uh, has that order. And one of my students were able to uh, make it by repeated the superconducting, making it non superconducting, and we, we, we store the superconductivity at here. Okay. And then if we look at the, the structure, uh, well, this is not superconducting, then you show some superstructure out, coming out. And uh, the superconducting one, this is a superstructure disappear. Although it's not very clear, but it's blaming, this is what we see. Okay. Now we, which means that with non superconducting one, all the superstructure in the X-ray curve indicating the, the ion vacancy order appear. Uh, for, non -super, for the two real superconducting one, that kind of piece disappear. Okay. Yeah, we, we, we have refined all this without more now, okay, and try to really associate how this phase to this phase, what exactly means in this ion and vac vacancy zone. That our belief is that the ion vacancy will form order, when it's older, then it's not and when it's become disordered, then <coughs> superconducting will appear. Of course, this ratio is, say, is critical, what kind of composition. Okay. So there's a whole series of composition uh, which are the proper one. Okay. So we do have a, a observed a whole series of ion vacancy. And this is the phase that one that they believe should be used to describe the ion southern ion and to really understand that. That is, we have one particular composition. I personally believe this probably is three to four is a parent. Okay, well, I could be wrong, but anyway. But so there's a magnetic order, just like a high PC. And the other one <coughs> create more, uh, uh, introduce more iron to reduce this uh, ratio uh, to close to one to one and the superconducting phase comes out. And the superconducting phase goes comes in is because this uh, disorder shows up. Okay, the iron vacancy becomes disordered. Right. And the first sample we have, that's my, our speculation is somewhere here, pink color. Okay. So the peak, it could be seven, eight or something you know, here that give you a high PC. So that's what we are trying to identify exactly, you know, that different composition uh, which has the high PC and how to make it uh, an order, making it into a disorder to show us what we to do. Now, I, I believe this is the correct way that one for this system. And this system will then be more like what we have for the high PC. Okay, and then this is really nice for me, right? Then we can go back and compare, because now we know this is the vacancy, <coughs> order and disorder, and give you the split up and not split up. Although high TC probably don't have such a simple way of describing it, because our system is much simpler. But uh, the feature, similar. that's what we do. Especially look at the iron, ox the copper oxide of plant. Here we have the iron center. And all the essential is the um, copper oxide one. The high DC has a more complicated layer between this uh, copper oxide. But I mean, that kind of a defect in the copper oxide one and this uncertain, uh, I think, can should have a some correlation. Okay. So I, I think uh, recently, you know, our group actually are very exciting about this because then we may be able to really go back and then re-examine the system and see the similarity uh, of these two systems. So let me give a summary. Uh, I think that we will face that one, and I believe that is the correct one, okay? Because we have already seen all this uh, structure and state, of course, uh, by 
detailed study in the area of bio and nanocompatible with a different composition that will give us a better idea how the sutinatin and non sutinatin uh, associate with each other. Okay. And, sorry, and the, all the uh, anomaly transport, transport magnetic artificial measurements associated with some kind of orbital magnification and get all of it. And this is already you know, been a lot of work to <coughs> demonstrate how the superconductivity comes up from this feature. Okay, I think that's the radical work need to be done. All right, so I want to acknowledge a lot of people here. You know, don't want to mention one of them. Of course, some of them already left our group, but, and then there are some more new team members, but I think this is a nice picture. It was taken when uh, the discovery was made not too long after. Okay, so those are the main people who are involved. For example, this guy is this is the one who identified that structure transformation, okay. And who made the first sample or he he just oh, he was not in the picture. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too bad he somehow that day he was not there. All right. This is the last picture I want to show you. Welcome to Wadi. Okay, this is where I'm now. This is the library of uh Donghua University. Frank, you have to come. You have, have not been there. And this is an interesting photograph because one of my colleagues who uh, like to take picture and they, he put a camera in front of the library. Every three day he come and um, actually to, to look at the cloud, not really the library. <laughs> but here I want to say, this is the high PC, right? You have the core here. Although the, all the background is different, but the core should be the same. So I, I think the story, ITC, Cupray, and I don't believe a lot of this is novel superintendent might have a similar origin in terms of uh, understanding the basic mechanism. Like what is that? That's what we need to, uh, uh, to answer and uh, further explore. Okay, thank you very much. Scale is uh, again the doping. Yeah, yeah. Between the ratio between A and B. Ratio, yeah. and so my very very uh, lemon question to you was: if, Is there uh, in such type of uh, variation of your uh, doping concentration? Mm -hmm. Is there anything health effects such as A plus B or, or you know, you know A prime plus B prime? Or is there anything fixed here when you talk about changing the doping? Yeah, certainly. I mean, the ratio X, you know, for for the, as I mentioned, you know, for the, the so-called older, like this is 4 to 5 or 3 to 4, right? Yes. And it's somewhere, somewhere here. Maybe 3 to 4 is here. Right? And 4 to 1 maybe somewhere here. And when it's uh, really fixed, and when you cool down, right, it may be very old, <coughs> this, the defect. It is not so good that. And we have to make it, in order to get into this assuming that in phase, you have to make it into a uh, disorder. But the ratio should maintain the same value. Uh, 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 oh, I equation. see. So, so for example, if, uh, if A and B are four and five, let's yeah, say. Yeah, for example. Then your A prime and B prime should better maintain what kind of, uh, or whatever. No, no, what I mean is A prime is a four and five. Uh -huh. This is to be three and four. Different value. That's a, I'm just indicating it is different value. Okay, so it, 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 yeah, it, it can be here can be one to one. Okay. Okay. It can be one to one. Uh, and then three to four, you have also again two different states. Uh, this is complicated. You know, two different states. This is three or four to five, for example, right? This is iron, you you're missing one every couple of them. You have uh, one iron missing. But this missing iron can become a very older state. And that's the one I, if I want to be superconducting, I don't want that. 
you want to make it into a disorder, but you maintain that's what I'm into. That could be here, somewhere here. I guess, you know, as a layman, yeah. my confusion was you can, in principle, have different combination of numbers yeah. where the ratios are the same. Can it be possible? Four versus four no, no, and no. five can be. It's not four to five to the four, four that's four to five. Okay. What do you mean by different numbers? <laughs> All right. Means I that in, in one layer, right? I have uh, every original one atom holds, uh, one iron holds the one selenium atom. But now it's uh, every four, then, then there's one coming, a uh, missing one. Okay. Then this gives you a four to five. So when you want to point into this kind of lab, uh, but if this mi this missing atom, it can be very old arranged. Okay, if you're sitting here, it's a very old. And that the state is not to be done. The answer is. The smallest of digits. Yeah. Yeah, self geometry. Right, right. That's a stock of geometry. Uh, beautiful talk. Okay, Thank this is much. very new to me. I'm used to these kind of phase diagrams for homogeneous substances. But clearly, when you see that the transition temperature changes from your bulk samples to monolayers, that means these diagrams are fundamentally incomplete, doesn't it? It means that you need some additional variables to describe the additional geometry. Well, you know, usually when, when the kind of diagrams I'm used to are yeah. liquid to solid phase transitions or gas to liquid, but these are all homogeneous substances, and then these diagrams essentially no. complete, contain My complete. Answer is this. Okay, for the single layer, yeah. the TC mm -hmm. harriers, it could be just, uh, I have they hit with it, this point. Okay. Yeah, there's still is this point, but you know, there's, there's another dimension, so to speak, that you should plot, uh, if you want to describe these different geometry dependent uh, Yeah, yeah, true, but, but I think behavior. The, the story, where the, mm -hmm. my own story, that it doesn't have to be single layer to make mm -hmm. that high right, right, right. Okay, I so I can that. that. Yeah. So the dimensionality in terms of the unit cell or, or, or you know, one one layer or two layer is not, in my view, it's not mm -hmm. critical. It just happened that they probably it's easier to mm -hmm. use a single layer to stabilize that thing mm -hmm. to get a higher PC. And the other okay. Or? So 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 we probably don't need another dimension as well. It's three day. That's what I mean. Yeah, because the, when we. Uh, study high PC have one layer system, two and three. The dome will be the same, similar shape, but different uh, optima. And you can change by changing the dimension. You can tune the optima maybe, but the dome shape and the mechanism is Yeah, but well, I mean, this is an arguable uh, statement. You know, whether it's a one layer, two layer, three layer will give you different PC. But in this picture, as I will see, it's not really that. Because we have one single layer. No matter what, it's one layer, two layers, it's all the same. Just one yeah, that's one single layer. Okay, it's what we call a infinite layer. So the, the only thing is really just a stop down the tree. That's quick. <coughs> Can I add another question? Sure, please. This may be a silly question, okay? Uh, no. But usually, you know, when you talk about Ohm's law, it's really a relationship between two vectors. And the coefficient in front is actually a tensor in general. Yeah. It's not a scalar, right? The resistance or the conductivity is really a tensor. Yes. And um, to what extent, you know, can that add some understanding? That okay. really the, it depends on the <laughs> orientation yeah, yeah. in which yeah, you sure. point it. You know, so this is the, the uh, thing you are talking about. Okay, here, mm -hmm. usually is a you know, A, B direction and C axis because the, the structure, right? Mm -hmm. So you have a different, um, uh, we have different orientation, mm -hmm. then the conductivity will be the same, the coupling. Right. This system is much different, right? because, you know, especially this one, the mm -hmm. is all the same, right? It, because this basic building block is one layer and then mm -hmm. build it up. Uh, of course, it still can be, this direction is better than this. 
So, so, so it's the simplest thing. It's suppose yeah, I it's going this way and I, going that way. I apply yeah. an electric field here. Yeah. The, the current need not be in that direction. It could be in this direction. Possibly, yeah. We should in general. In general. Mm -hmm. Okay. In homogeneous substances, of course, mm -hmm. it's just a scale. It's just a scale. It's a diagonal. Yes. Yes. But in general, it's a tensor. Yes, you are quite right. Actually, yeah, this is something uh, we think need to can be understood this part. Yeah, that that's the part actually we don't quite understand. But I think your viewpoint is what is this? Okay, because we have a magnetic measurement. So at that temperature, it's along this and selenium direction is more prominent. Okay, so so this is the iron and selenium coupling. So this has a like yeah, that's what you said. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so that I think that the, the relation is right. Any other questions? Yes. It's very impressive that you, uh, uh, you were able to identify this compound three weeks after reading the Japanese paper, but why selenium? I know you, you no, need to have iron, iron, but no, we cannot play with the arson. We could not do arson. We don't have the facility to do that. And I'm, I'm experienced you now with um, the calcutacamide. And in fact, at that time, we were working on the calcitonite, molly sulfide, molly disenonide, and so on. There, uh, that, in fact, that's a part of my thesis work. When I was a PhD student, you know, I, I've been working on this uh, sulfide compound, selenium compound. So one of my colleagues, I mean, associates, is working on the sulfide. So we, we have a, a plenty of a selenium. I said, why don't we just try it? And we were lucky enough. <laughs> Any other questions? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. I'm just curious, I mean, for iron-based uh, um, so far, there's no competing magnetic base so far anymore. Is this uh, anything? We should uh, say that when it's not super magnetic. OK, the question is that the iron compound is any magnetic. Yes, there is a magnetic order when it's not super like a four five, I show you, which is not superconducting. There's a magnetic order, so the iron do have a moment, but when it becomes superconducting, that disappears. So there's no coexistence. The same. Yeah, yeah. So, so, so this iron selenium coupling. This is probably over. This one part here. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It has the antiferm in that one. When is the non Yeah, yeah. When the non supermagnetic, it all has a magnetic, antiferm magnetic order. Yeah. yeah. Similar to the IPC. Yeah. But it is non supermagnetic, which means this is uh, with the order of uh, vacancy. That you can calculate. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm sure. I mean, you can. You actually, you can. Yeah, it's, I know that can be. Yeah. Any other questions, Paul? Yes. Yeah. Uh, I think you mentioned that there's a Show you what the people talk about. This is a unit cell. Okay, this is the uh, uh, the, the Beijing or uh, 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 their work. Okay, this is one unit cell, and they claim there's a very high transition temperature. Uh, they also you know, show the uh, 
the scanning tower in microscope is a gap open. Okay, I, don't, I don't have the data right here. But I want to, I, I think we have some kind of answer for this particular feature here. Okay. Especially the, the, the tunneling spectrum that is trying to have a higher PC. Uh, one of the students who uh, did an interesting work okay, by using substrate with the iron, selenium, chlorine film. Okay, and we were able to really change the orientation. Okay, which means this is AB along that, and in this one it turned 45 degrees. All right, in this region, the substrate here. Will turn the orientation the 1045 degree. Right. That this is A B direction, then a, a certain portion in it, another 45 degree, 1045 degree. So there's a grand boundary between the two layers. Right. And that's the film, and this is the uh, TM work. So they were able to scan it across this by looking at the uh, scanning current microscope or spectrum. Well, if you look at it, this is, I think, the uh, uh, the low temperature one and uh, A should be uh, here, here is the point. Okay. This is the A point A and this is the point E, which is the zero degree gradually coconut degree. And then cross that. Okay. So you see this is the indication of a super <coughs> transition. But there is a gap feature, right? It can be as high as a twenty millimeter right in between, about 23 degrees. <coughs> so he always see this, okay, around that temp that region. And this is the gap that, that uh, claimed to be a superconducting one for the you know, central layer. And we, I don't have proof yet, but I think in you know, our speculation, and this is exactly the iron selenium, which is this direction. If you go in between, that's where. So where the vacancy comes from, potentially there's a vacancy also. So, so we are, are uh, and, you know, we think that has something to do with this uh, vacancy, the probe in the system. And, and if that's a disorder, you have a higher PC. Okay. That's sort of a, to associate our story, but uh, we need to have a proof for that. So we want to do more. Okay, we take uh, one last question, then. Okay, if not, let's thank uh, Professor Wilson.